This production is part of the Game Fire Network. Netcast for gamers by gamers. Welcome to Game Fire. This is Tales of Heroes video replay review number 71 for Sunday, April 6, 2008. The Unstoppable Calliope. Tales of Heroes is brought to you by viewers like you. Another free show? Feeling guilty yet? Hello one, hello all. Welcome to another exciting episode of Tales of Heroes right here on the Gamefire Network. Tales.gamefire.com. T-A-L-E-S. Dot gamefire.com. Do you know what map we're on? Can you guess yet? What about now? What control point is this? And what is this? Hey, what is this? I know this map. It's familiar. It is Semwa, one that we have been loath to be away from for so long. But we are back, and uh, we are glad to be here, except that it's raining. That's the unfortunate part. I am Bridger, a.k.a. Adam Ruzo, for the Game Fire Network, and with me, as always, is my talented co-host, Vit... Uh, I mean, Vit... Whoa, I slipped. Rogers, welcome to... I went in autopilot mode. Rogers, Sam Forrester, welcome to the show, sir. <laughs> well, that's one hell of an introduction. Uh, anyway... Uh, it should be a great match. I'm really looking forward to have my buddy uh, Dave Sumbloke Martin on the show with us. Uh, it's going to be Semwa. He adds a bit of class to the to the to the show, being British. Of course he did. Of course he does. He's English. And yeah. uh, anyway, so it being rainy, it has been raining since Opposing Fronts came out. If that's not um, a metaphor, I don't know what is, gentlemen. So uh, anyway, Dave, right. welcome to the show. Thanks for having me on the show, and um, I'm very depressed as it is raining. And if the match turns out to be crap... Raining in England? No. That's like <laughs> saying it's raining in Moscow. Seattle. Get out. <laughs> All right. Uh, well. So, yeah, Relic, please get rid of the raining auto match. Thank you. All righty. So we have a good 1v1 solid here for you today. Zombie Rommel versus Aza right here on Simwa, and we'll see how it goes. So we're at the five-second mark. We're going to unpause in five, four, three, two, one... On pause. And uh, while things are shaping up early in the game, I just wanted to mention uh, that we thank everybody who donates to the show. You, we really, really appreciate it. If you're uh, if you're feeling a little guilty, getting all of this entertainment for free week after week after week, we do have a donation button, tales.gamefire.com. We'll get you there, T-A-L-E-S.gamefire.com. And, you know, if you're short on cash, if you, if you don't feel like donating, if you can't donate, there's no way you can help out the show. Anytime you go online and you crush a noob, be sure to point them to the show and say, because that's what I do. If I, if I accident, you know, if I go online and destroy someone utterly, I'm like, hey, uh, you know, before he quits, I'm like, hey, uh, so have you heard of this show, Tales of Heroes? It's where I learned a lot about how to play the game. And oh, yeah, that's good. So, yeah, tell some friends about it. I really appreciate it. I know all of us here would, and we really, really appreciate the donation. So, let's jump into the game now. We have a three pioneer start and a two engineer start. Is there any more pioneers being built, or is that it? Looks like that's it. Nope, that's it. Uh, he just wanted to get the munitions and the fuel secured as fast as possible, and I think that's a pretty good move on this map for the Germans. Now, it is delaying <laughs> his first uh, his first production from the Wehrmacht, though. I missed yeah, Trisimois. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a bit of Irish humor for you. You've got a rifleman squad out at the moment, and he's capping the munition point um, which I believe I was the first person to start this to steal credit from people um, to cap it outside your uh, your, the, your place where you start. <laughs> your <Yeah>. place. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. We actually have him building Can an OP on the plus Dave, 10 uh, Dave, fuel there. as well. Son of a... Well, maybe not. Okay, uh, I'm uh, wazzing at the 143.45. You can't hear me? I'm at the 150. I paused the 150. I'm a complete <laughs> retard. I'm sorry. Oh my god, what's back? What's back? Can you back? guys hear me? Hello? Yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you. What the hell happened? You just suddenly I have no hear? idea. Like, Dave, Dave just stopped talking, like, mid-sentence. And then all of a sudden, like, no one said anything. I was like, uh, <laughs> what? That's weird. Tell me you are. I'm at 145, I'm at but I can get it to 150. I'm at 147. Yeah, no, I'm at 150. Oh, nice. No, there we go. All right. Uh, now I have no mouse. 
All right, sorry about that. For those of you following the home game, we're at 150. We had a German sneaky Knight's Crossholder squad, you know, sneak around behind us, cut the wire, even though they don't have wire cutters. But we're back, and uh, we're ready to go. So we're at the 150, restarting in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, unpause. All right, so let us uh, see what's going on here. We have rifles pushing up to uh, potentially harass on the uh, northern section. All we've got is Pioneers. There's the first MG coming out from the Axis players. They're going to go for the fuel. That's a good cutoff right there. Um, anyway, Dave, what were you saying about the munitions point um, on the... the oh, the um, yeah, before the Germans decided to kill us. Um, I was just saying that I kind of steal credit for the fact that I was probably the first person on Tales of Heroes to start capping points at Simois outside your HQ in the munition point. Mm -hmm. Those are, I mean, it's a great point. It's plus 10, and if you hold the thing for the whole game, you're going to get substantial resources out of it. And uh, and uh, Zombie Rumble's going for that all-important cutoff with his first rifle squad to get the fuel out of enemy hands. That's a really smart move. and uh, Devastating. Golden, Devastating, too. Yeah, definitely. I'm noticing there's wire in the middle um, from Hassa. Oh, what the... <laughs> That's he's, that's interesting, as he's I, cut himself off from the VP. Yeah, exactly. I was going to say he cut himself off from the VP. But, I mean, Ooh. I guess he's planning on keeping those pyos around and going in whenever he wants. Um, he's got a machine gun cutting off the bridge in the south. Yep. And here comes Volks, who are by themselves going to win if they're both just sitting there at long range. Yeah, they're definitely going to win that battle. If he had maybe uh, charged his rifles in right away, he could have done something. But it looks like he might just be, you know, he's going to get behind cover. He's going to stall as much as he can with these rifles, which is a good tactic. You know, just keep your enemy off of that fuel for as long as possible. You know, because now if he comes up to try and cap with the Volks, he's going to get the extra damage from, you know, when you're capping, your units receive extra damage. So the rifleman can come over and win if he's capping. And he can just bounce back and forth between cover. Keep him off that fuel. He's cut off from the plus 10 munitions and the plus 5 fuel. He's got no fuel income except for this starting plus 5. Oh, and this one down here. Yeah, um, what do you guys think? Do you think he's going to lock down the south as well after he caps that muni and harasses it? Maybe he's going to push all of the fuel, but I really doubt that. Um, I think he should probably build wire on the bridge and then across on the little land bridge too. Um, and probably reposition his MG because I don't know about that building really. I mean, even though he did build the wire, which was crucial to him holding those three buildings in the north, it still could be it still could be a risky move. Um, we'll have to wait and see though. Yeah, I'm almost tempted to call this in some sort of weird semoir pin. <laughs> it's I, almost uh... there, but it's not. Yeah, kind of reverse quite. semoir, yeah. Now all oh, Vonk's getting stalled to the north. Yeah, here They're comes some reinforcements from the rifles. Whoa. Supply yard just went up. Ooh. Are you kidding me? Wow, that, that is, was really that's quick. Really big. Yeah, that was that was the, you know, I'm using my first 200 manpower after the rifle squad to build an OP. Yeah, that's excellent right there. Most players always forget about the observation post, but it's so important. Yeah, I mean, it, it you know it can be a key part of your part of your strategy. Um, a lot of people you know will will rush tech to to either uh, su um, supplier to either um, the motor pool or the tank depot. And if you put an OP on that, that just rushes your tech that much faster. So you're hit. He's losing this early battle because he he's basically down a squad for that, you know, 200 manpower OP. He probably could have won that battle in the north if he'd had that extra squad. But you know, it was a risk. No, yeah, that's gonna take some time, and he should also probably build a triage when he gets done with his motor pool and his. I think the first unit's probably gonna be an M8 with skirts. So yeah, be probably the there it is, motor pool popping up. Um, what time do you guys have? Let me just double check something here. I have uh, 5, 45, 46, 47, 48, oh, 49, man. and 50. I'm way behind. You off? I'm at 52. My game's just running 52. slower than both Four. of you guys. Uh, oh, well. That's weird. I'll just have to pick times to catch up if I can. Okay. I swear you want to cut off my fuel or something. <laughs> and the... Poor Volks were almost all the way to the middle to start capping VPs and stuff when he came in with another They're squad. Very low health. Yeah. It's, it's, it's very good macro by the American player. You know, perfect timing, waiting until all his squads left and went somewhere else to come in and decap it and actually recap it too. Now is a good time to retreat. Yeah. 
front shifted. Ooh, busted. He saved wow. his OP in the south. That's good. First squad of Grenz is up, uh, surprisingly enough. We might see a, uh, whatchamacallit, a uh, Comcroft Center up as well to get some vet as soon as possible. Yeah, I believe we hear this uh, This is a defensive game, so we're probably going to see yep. Tier 2 defensive, it looks like, if we've got a... Mm -hmm. a uh... Half-track coming up now, too. Ooh, nice! Half-track yep. from the yep. Kriegs Barracks. It's going to get countered by an M8, which is coming from the motor pool. <laughs> yes, indeed. M8, you are correct, sir. We don't see the quad rush that often anymore. Probably because yeah. if you're playing against Panzer Elite, quad won't help you too much. Um, I don't think it does much damage to light, at least not nearly as, as well as the M8 does to light vehicles. Yeah, mm -hmm. it'll slaughter M8, uh, armored cars, though. I mean, not 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 the Tier 3 armored cars, but the, the scout, scout cars. cars. Yeah. Those things so that might be an interesting uh, strategy to go with if you're getting scout car spammed as rush to, to quad. One thing uh, I'd also like to quickly recommend for PE players on this map, um, what you could do if you start in the north or in the south, I'll get to the north uh, as soon as I'm done with the south uh, rundown, but leave your point capped, uh, let the enemy cap their plus 10 in the south, and then build a funk wagon, creep it along the side of the map, and park it down near where those houses are, like like a little, uh, park it right next to the house, and have it steal the resources. They'll never notice, and seldom they'll, they'll, they'll never notice it, and uh, you'll just constantly be draining uh, munitions from them. You can do the same in the north if you send it up by the little uh, lake where the boats are. So that's just a little tip for you PE players out there. Yeah, there's not often a... Uh... A map where the funk wagon would be really, really useful, but this is one of them. Um, and in 1v1s, it's probably more useful than anything else. Uh, so the M8's trying to chase down the half track. Oh, that's bad news. Ooh, an M8 mine going down right on the bridge there. Very nice. It's like if you retreat to your base, you're in trouble. Or if that half track backs up like it's. Yeah, he wasn't. He didn't notice that earlier <laughs> that's bad to lose his first investment in terms of uh fuel, fuel. he's getting a pack 38 Ooh. now though Double it's a pity he couldn't five. keep that half track oh dear m8 spam oh. now he's got where's his grenadiers at are they uh grenadiers are in the south they just killed some rifles and they they're taking back the music and they've point. got a shrek that's where his, that's where his yeah. grenadiers were when he needed him. we got raid as well by the way we've got an armor company that's really nice that was a really, really fast M8, and, you know, a lot of people don't necessarily do that anymore. So, it seemed like he was just completely unexpected. Yeah. Uh, yeah, not expecting this that. <laughs> this M8's in deep trouble down here in the oh, south. One Shrek's gonna kill it. Oh, he's got a second one. It doesn't have, uh, skirts on it. Oh. That was a very... He's not following it up. That's, that's a mistake. He's not following it. I, I think he's scared that it's something behind it, to be honest. Probably, but... Uh, you have to be able to see he's even parking in front of the OP. Go, go, Laza, get it, kill it. <laughs> no, he says, no, oh, listen, eh, oh. I, I got better Good placement do. of the pack 38 as well, even though it's crit first crit shot miss, which really yeah. sucks. We yeah, could, uh, could Faust there. this potentially and get it. No, maybe it's probably got armored skirts, so probably a Faust wouldn't yeah, kill it. Does. But oh, it, might it might damage the engine though, which would be important. Yeah, oh, he's stuck. Moving. He's stuck. Oh, just as Minesweepers came up, that squad just dead the dust. That's too bad. Oh, how did I think it out? He's no, gonna foul it. You really it's should. Dead. You really should foul it. He's yeah. gonna kill that crew. Come on, Azza, hurry, dude. You have to do it. This isn't working for you there. You... Oh, come on. Here comes the Faust. What the? Okay, it's just not doing. There we go. Oh, that was weird. Okay, it just seemed to. <laughs> Yeah, the guy stood up, and he just like, I'm not going to fire. Oh, that, boom. Yeah, what do you guys have for a time right now? 10.35. Uh, All right, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of closing in on you guys. I'm speeding it up to two times every once in a while to keep up with you. My stupid yeah. game is so slow. Uh, but you can see he's actually using the end, the, the pioneers, rather, to uh, to reclaim the resources, the, the munitions yeah, really from the wrecks. Right yeah. For a defensive player, those are so nice. Oh, yeah. Oh wow! M8 got long range shot by the uh, the Pack 38. A second one, it's in big trouble. Dead. Well, zombie doesn't didn't notice oh. it soon enough. That's lucky. The third shot glitched, didn't fire. Really? Yep. Oh, I wasn't watching. I wasn't watching the pack. I was watching the M8. That was really lucky. Yeah. 
So you see, of... that's his third M8, isn't it? Yep, third M8. Yeah, that is. Speaking of them shells, actually, um, I've, I've been noticing a lot. There's been a weird shell physic where if it, it's going to a target, but something goes in front of it, it will swing around that target and hit the. Shell. I've seen that. Yeah. Yeah. That's really crazy. Well, so it's because if something's guys... calculated as a hit. The yeah. shot does whatever gymnastics it has to do to hit, you know? <laughs> That's why you see sometimes if something's moving really fast and an a AT gun hits it, you'll yeah. just see the round curve in midair well, like it's yeah. a seat missile. It's Chuck Norris. Yeah, it does. It is uh, Chuck Norris, yeah. Anyway, right. guys, I just want to make a correction of my statement earlier. Uh, that's the second M8 second that M8, didn't right. have the skirts on it in the south, but he put skirts on it and repaired it, so it's right. not the third. Okay, yeah. that's what I thought. I was wondering if he lost yeah. one and I missed it. I'm hitting an MG somewhere. I was someone in the He's game. doing a very good job running over the wire, so it's opening up his, uh, his attack yeah. paths against the enemy. The MG was shooting at a barred rifle squad. We do have bars. Yeah. Uh, and the M8's coming in to clean it up. But the Pac-38 is sneaking in. If he's smart, he'll cloak it before he gets it to fire. Oh, he's gonna get, get the Shrek as well. Come on, get a Shrek uh, on it. You got some damage. There you, go. there you go. Damaged engine. Oh! Out of control, well baby! Well done. That bridge is out of service. We've got an accident. I actually uh, think, I think quads could have helped him more as opposed because quads have a longer range, and their suppression buff and their damage buff has been quite considerable. So I think probably an early quad would have done more good uh, for him. That is true, but um, the downside to that is that quads role has changed a lot. Where you, you don't support yeah. it with infantry, you support the infantry with it. We have registered artillery oh. dropping somewhere. Oh yeah, north, north. north. Yep. Oh, that wipes out squads. I really like. I th it, oh, there it goes. Killed him. Killed it two killed squads. The squad on the BP wow, too. that was wow. a second lucky drop. Wow. That was really. Uh, they they increased the scatter angle, I believe, of uh, registered yeah. artillery, and it's very effective. Yeah, uh, I, I and really he liked it at the perfect time too. It would. They were just about to decap the plus sixteen, and then he dropped it. That's one thing defense players definitely have to keep in mind. Is the best time to drop registered artillery is right before they decap the point. Yeah, because then it comes in comes in a little bit later, and as soon as they see a decap, they think they're safe. Yeah, yeah exactly. We've got, grenades, we've got a medic station up by the church. Um, I was waiting for that. Really? Oh, wow. oh yeah, an station. station. Med medic station. Great <laughs> placement of that. Are we going to see a nade on these grins? No. Does he have grenades up? Did he? He's just got them now. Yeah, bars are good enough for him, I guess. Um, no, Stupid lightning, go away. Uh, so here comes another half track from the Axis player. Mm -hmm. He's gonna what, use um, the reinforcing. Yeah. What, what's I, I've actually gotten into using my uh, my half tracks more often for forward reinforcement. Yeah, mm. definitely. It's so useful sometimes on, on the bigger maps. And well, here comes a big fight. I don't I'm think. I'm really shocked we haven't seen a medic bunker anywhere. I'm surprised about that. We probably will later. Yeah, most likely. So, here comes the first medic uh, running up. Oh, he's already got one body, now he's coming to get a second. Mm. Nice. nice potential for flanking here by the uh, by the allies in the north. Bars are going to do quite a bit of damage. Suppression there, fire could be real nice here. Suppression fire, come on. Grenade, 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 grenade. Or grenade. Good use oh. of flamer finals, I really have to say that much. There you go. That, that caused complete retreat from both sides. Ooh. And guess who's going to benefit from that? Uh, the aid station's definitely going to benefit from that, so Zombie Rommel's going to get a few... <laughs> a zombie bars. army. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Great uh, the, the OP on the fuel was down to the Grinch of the Shrek. Oh, yeah. What, what time do you guys that, have? You can just spam registered. Uh, uh, what time do you got, Dave? 15-15. All right, I'm right on. Yep. I'm keeping yep, it close. Here. Triage sensor. That's good. He's doing a that lot of rifle good. spamming. Triage center and medic uh, station are two two great upgrades if you're going with lots of yep. infantry. And uh, rifle spam is still an effective tactic, I think, uh, for the early mid game, especially if you support it well with motor pool. But uh, you know, right now that obviously hasn't happened. But he's still kept his infantry alive uh, for the mm -hmm. most part. Yeah, with a bunker going up in the middle, actually. From the That's probably going to be an MG bunker. I'm going to say it's a medic bunker. Because look at its placement, it would be a decent MG bunker, I think. Well, yeah, you might get you actually you might get the MG from the house in the south to go up there. That would be no, it's a medic station, Dave. You're right. Yeah. But he's gonna use no, it's a Goliath a building thing. station, guys. Well, all of them are that. <laughs> I so. know. It's a it's a body rep repairing station or something. I don't know. He hasn't uh, recovered from that loss of the NG and the uh, rifle squad in the north yet, though. He hasn't quite recovered from that. We're just sniping back down in the south. 
Oh, now, really? uh... The Grenadiers could be taking out this medic station, but they've been sitting there for quite a while. They're finally gonna shoot at it, maybe. There they go. <laughs> and the birds Please are... ignore the jungle in the background. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Pacific Adam we're getting. <laughs> I want to see another grenade now. Oh, that would be really devastating. See, they're all bunched up behind cover. Is he gonna do it? I think he might. Sure. Grenade, grenade? No. Come on. Those bars are really devastating right now. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're doing lots of extra damage. You should Not turn the half track round. Oh, Maybe yeah, the should. rear half track gun does more damage than the front. That's really weird, by the way. Yeah. Well, the movie is the most exposed is it, place, to be honest. Is it a significant amount of damage or no? The front one's so. an MG30. Oh, Ooh. grenade. But it's right next to the medic bunker. <laughs> yeah, right? He's gonna get an instant squad here because of that. He's probably gonna get about <laughs> two squads. Did you see the medic? He just runs, he just picks it up, runs over, boom. There it is, boom, squad's back. And I would definitely throw a grenadier grenade near those two low health right Oh no! <laughs> the squad just got there. What are you guys doing? Come on. This this is definitely a veterancy win for Rommel here. Whoa. Yeah, look at this. Two double vet squads. Grenade. Here comes another grenade! Oh my god! You gotta be kidding me! <laughs> wow. He can and reinforce at that bunker well, too. That was a good place right. for a battle. But... The half -check as well. yep. Oh he no, he lost his Shrek. He's very he's low on this. combat units right now. He is in deep trouble. I can't believe how nothing has touched these American riflemen. I mean, they haven't. <laughs> they've been behind cover the whole time, but. Uh... Oh, that's gonna touch him. Ooh, yes, it will. Excellent is that registered? Placement. Yep, that's yep. registered right there. That, he could have used that a little while ago. Oh no, the medic's running into registered. Oh, it's fine, don't worry. <laughs> medics are surprisingly hard to kill. They're like <laughs> snipers in terms of health. Yeah. He really Actually, needs to be very careful with these squads. Mm. He lost like three or four squads in that engagement, I think, and only got two out of it, so he didn't win there, definitely. Yeah, he needs to Shrek that medic station. I'm thinking the Allies probably got at least a squad out of it so far. Yeah, they did. Yeah. And they could have Shrek it before. They only got two shots off before the Allies were there, but he had a squad sitting next to it. Two I double vet rifles came oh, out of that engagement. Mortar. That's, that's definitely wow, a huge. mortar. We have back tech to weapon support, huh? Oh. Enemy unit down. That just killed Sorry. everything. Yeah. Oh, I that missed it. I was looking for the mortar. It was by the church. Yeah. Five people. Wow. Five, yeah. Well, Not just more for the medic bunker, I guess. <laughs> the, yeah, the those those guys are dead. really earning their keep. Yeah, the medics are still dead, though, so... Oh, I don't, dead know, I don't know what the One's respawn alive. time the One medic is. is. Alive. One is alive, oh, really? but he's not going to get the... Oh. No, because there are no bodies anymore, but maybe there were... Yeah. But remember we had that discussion for a while about how medic stations and aids and medic bunkers like interrupt mm -hmm. with each other like they you know have a cancel negative each other out. yeah cancel and th okay now that bunker's in trouble i mean he is defensive he's probably got defensive operations which means the bunker has an extra 300 health mm -hmm. that definitely does help especially against mortars you get a lot more time against mortars yeah definitely i mean um there's whoa we glitched there. the half track doors just flew off and then came back on I it. Oh, I see that. Look at that. <laughs> they got stuck on the wall. I've seen that happen once or twice. <laughs> nice harassment in itself. Sticky bombs. Mm. Can sticky bombs. It's interesting. If you guys didn't know that you can throw uh, sticky bombs on pack 38s, did you know that? I heard about yeah, that, yeah. Does it destroy... Do it how, how, long, how many does it take to destroy a gun, I wonder? Two. I think two. Probably yeah. two. Three. So oh, you treat them to self. Oh wow, this squad uh, might I die. So. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh rifle! I can't believe the MP40 gunner on an MG42 killed him <laughs> on his way well, out. He had about 5% health. Yeah. And oh, he's going to be pushed out of the middle completely. He needs to drop registered art right now. He's going to get another squad out. Oh, no, he's not. <laughs> They're killing the medics. Good work. How many kills do these things have? Drop it. I'm clicking the button. You have to do it too. Come on. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh. He's going to put the. Oh, God. But the. MG's nope. not even getting a chance to that fire, is. is it? Excellent, right there. Excellent. He dropped it just as it was decapped. Unfortunately, the two squads moved to the north. Yeah, you got so. new Why is the squad. machine gun not firing? It's dead. Oh, it's, it's yeah. dead now, but I. It was alive for a while. No, not that long. Maybe That's there was a dead. bug on my oh. interface then. Grenadier, oh no, that was a rifle grenade. Whoa. Now he's going to have a rifle man grenade. 
counter mortar. Allied mortar is gonna be really bad news. It's a counter mortar from the Axis. Yeah. Oh, the medic station went down. When did that happen? A while oh, ago. No. When when he when he when he did the last registered in the in the yeah. middle. Oh. Man, this rain is killing my FPS. <laughs> We'll deal well, with it. I'm at, I'm at 2147. Oh, you're actually ahead of me. Okay, yeah, I've been going a little bit too far. I'll, I'll lay off Ooh, a little bit here. Calliopes. Oh, no. Calliopes and Allied War Machine. That actually might be a much better investment than a Pershing. I mean, Pershings aren't that great anyway. Everybody's talking yeah, about it on the now, forums anyway. I mean, the way they talk on the forums, you might as well get a Sherman instead of a Pershing. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my God. My heart just filled with whatever it is that fills hearts. Pioneers are repairing the bunker. There's actually someone <laughs> repairing in this game. They see it. They Le see something. Earlier, uh, Zombie Rommel was repairing his uh, observation post on his fuel. Did oh, really? Oh, yeah, I was. feel so much. My heart grew three sizes this day after last week's fiasco. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I love seeing ten tigers. Come on, you can't beat that. <laughs> you can. Super you can beat it with two. eleven tigers, but oh, nobody man, wants to. Middle. How did that go? Where did that go? Look at how many <laughs> infantry we've got just clustered in the middle. What could a Calliope do to this? A Calliope could destroy everything. He should have an airborne Registered. strafing gun. Registered art in the south. He's got enough for a Calliope Ooh. in a couple of seconds. Goodbye, uh, rifle squad. Ooh. And I, I really like the way that they balance registered artillery. Yeah. It, it can I totally destroy a squad if you, if you don't hear it and aren't paying attention. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think of the um, new defensive artillery? The I rocket. like it. It's really good it. against emplacements, but it needs to do more damage versus British uh, trucks. It really does. <laughs> it does no damage versus British trucks. Yeah. None. Oh, we're gonna see a Calliope really dodge right. in the middle. Yep, it's coming up. The yep. problem is that kill. church That's is real tall. Right. It could block a lot unless he comes north. Yeah. I think he's smart enough to move it south. Or south, more yep, so here south. Here we go. Here we go. He's coming south. Yeah. Or Grins. Yeah, he's he's moving towards the graveyard right now. Oh, oh no, needs to but do it now. Needs to do it now. It's gonna get they're, they're gonna get under its gun. Yeah, they are. Just suppress. Not. Just in he's time. He's gonna t try to take out the medic bunker. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably what he's going for. Here they come. It's not miss, fully miss, repaired. Miss, Is miss, it gonna miss, do miss, it? Miss, 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 miss. Too big miss, a spread. Miss. miss. Killed the medic. Bunker. And I think he killed the pioneers over there, but I couldn't tell if that's what he got. Well, I played. Yeah. Oh, it's winning them over. Oh, no. Oh. Like moving, could. stop moving! Retreat them! Oh, oh God! I don't want to be in the water! Let me out! Oh, the treads. Oh, oh the man. <laughs> and it's on the shrek, shrek now, so he can't pick it up. <laughs> He's just going to spin in place. Disco mode on purpose. <laughs> Kill 11 guys by running them over. Wow. That was terrible. Really? He didn't even get one? With, no, he must have got... I think he got two with the Calliope barrage. Nah. I'm pretty sure there was pioneers over there, or the medics counted. Uh, okay, medics, so... Nine, medics. though. That gun's moving, that uh, gun's moving up. It's not gonna help very much. It's vet well, one already. Know. And he's just... I can't believe it. Just saw one Grenadier after the other, just like, Hey! 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 hey, hey, hey. <laughs> like, he sees his buddy <laughs> going and falling at the treads, go, Ah! That looks like a great idea. Let me try. Hey, if Frank liked it, maybe y'all like it too. Yeah. The lemmings. We're yeah, that's lemmings. right. We got lemming grenadiers. Lemadiers. Really, really, the the medic bunker guy was just like, do me a favor. I really need this job. <laughs> yeah. And if if I if we don't have some dead bodies to pick up, they're gonna they're gonna get rid of my section. So if you could just go oh, out there grenade. and die, that would be great. Oh, Ooh, grenadier grenade. grenade, grenade didn't kill the mortar. No, it did nothing. Ooh. Of course it did nothing. It's a grenadier grenade. Oh, Calliope. Uh oh. Great uh, placement of that. Well. Nice getting the retreating squad. It might not. Oh, it didn't get any of them. They got triple vet, so it's gonna be hard to get them with just one. Random Ooh, rocket. Kill that cloak pack, though. Yeah, he was doing some crazy maneuvers I'll to get that out of the way. Right now, I think he needs some tier four armor. I'm actually looking at the. I'm looking at the um, tactical map at the moment, and Az has done an excellent job of harassment. I mean, he's got all the territory. Yeah, you know, I was just looking at that. He's, he's got everything. Even the kitchen sink. Which, ironically enough, is filled with water because it's raining. <laughs> Ooh, Stuka. We have a Stuka. Stuka. 
That's a nice it's counter to the Calliope. It's not actually going to kill the Calliope. This is going to be like, we've got artillery that's super good at killing infantry wars. No, he's going for the Calliope, but missing mm. horribly. So I just saw an engineer kind of slump onto a grave, which then fell over. <laughs> uh, is it engineer versus pack 38 gun? What the hell? <laughs> it could work. One of the rifles Ooh, rifle was, Shrek. Five, was uh, parked on top of Oh, Flames. Flamers, nice. Where's that Calliope when you need it? Still on cooldown, I assume. Yeah. It'll be off cooldown soon enough, and that's gonna devastate. Uh, he's gonna harass the fuel again. Oh. oh my god. Thank god for that building. Building. Oh, oh yeah, look at this. He's hiding it behind these infantry of survivors. They they're still creep through the no, roof. they're not. Oh, look at that. They still crept through the roof. I feel yeah, sorry for the owner of that house. It gets yeah. destroyed every time. <laughs> There's nothing left of it. It's up on stilts for part of it, but that yeah, the bedroom's gone. Oh, here comes the counter barrage. He's lost about, let's see, what is that? I'd say um, three squads to registered artillery, though. Zombie Rommel. Mm, yeah. Now, why is he, is he just hoping to get an enemy squad that was chilling back there, maybe? I think so. Or he was trying to just kill the building so he'd have more effective barrages later. Yeah, we've got an MG coming out of this way. No, I mean the the counter barrage from the walking Stuka. He just he sort of picked a patch kind of, of ground and yeah. hoping that Maybe there was some rifles there. there. It's bug of war. He didn't know. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. It looked like he was just sort of trying to get gas. Yeah. He's trying to get the mortar, I think, which has 10 kills. Wow, yeah. What do you, what do you guys think about uh, observed uh, line of sight or whatever the hell the defensive ability is? Advanced I think it warning. needs a buff. Really? Yeah, yeah. Needs a buff. It's only a 1 CP ability. You you can't no, see very far. It, like it really doesn't benefit you at all for having it. In ground I don't think. I mean, I, I remember when True. 88s used to get the, uh, the oh and the jeeps the, and the half tracks. Body. Yeah, but yeah, I don't that, think that, that was, was a bug. Like, but I don't know. I think they should uh, reinstate that because I think it made it much more useful than it is now. MG in the church. Well, I'm, I can safely say that there's no snipers going in that church. Oh, tower. that guy's in trouble. <laughs> Calliope. Right on the on new the 88. Oh dear God. Oh. oh dear God. It took no damage though. Enemy well, well, it's not. It's yeah, it's yeah. not completely constructed yet. So when it gets fully constructed, that's when it show you the damage, right? Yeah, maybe. That's true. I think I've seen that happen on buildings. They they have full yeah. life as they're being constructed. Because they know where it is now. He needs to cancel it. Does yeah. he know where it is? Did he? Did yeah, he see I mean, it before? They know now. Yeah, they know now. Oh, when it hits <laughs> something, that's right. When you hit something, it is revealed. Yeah. He was probably trying to man it. No, he's going to sticky it or blow it up. What's he going to do? He oh, can't man it because not... No, he's just going to get line of sight so he knows where... Oh, registered. Where is that dropping? South. North. In the south. South. Oh. Man, I'm way That's a squad. Guys. There's the rifle Whoa. squad number four. Oh, my God. Down. Down. Wow. Two that was a that one spot. Oh, yeah. God. Body parts. Look at this. The, the, the field is littered with them. I mean, it's like... Oh. There's one guy, he wants to get up, but he can't. Party favors for all. Stuka nearly killed the mortar. Yeah. Nearly. Stukas don't do dot damage, by the way. No, as far as I know. No. Look at that, wow. The squad itself is fine, but the, the mortar, the actual mortar emplacement on it, if it takes any more damage, it's done for. Yeah. Double vet. I'm not sure if it has LOS on the Calliope, though. Calliope, oh. perfectly timed. Very nice. Got three guys with one. There's another. Four, There's another. Five, oh my six, god! Seven, wow. It's vet now. On the hedge. On and the, the hedge. hedge is gone. That's so bad. That's vet three. Oh my goodness. Flex up. Yep. And Ooh, it's gonna, they're going to avoid the register. I think they're going to completely Just. avoid it and they're going to take the flag. Uh, Nate. Nate on the flag. Oh, the register got a lot of them. It's all up to the engineers. <laughs> Spin it! Spin the 88 around! It's the Oh, it's shooting at the it's getting MG. Mortared. Oh, it's been taken. Wow, mortar killed the crew! Vet it's Vet 2, that's insane. The 88 is? Yeah. No, 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 the, the mortar. The mortar team yeah. killed the 88, and now they have it. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, that poor Stuka. Oh, no. He almost got it, though. Holy crap. Mm. This is really bad for Azza right now. He needed tier 4 oh. ages ago. He has almost 300 fuel. I mean, come on, yeah. take advantage of that. Whoa. Build. 
We'll build. VPs. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, we haven't been watching though, because the it looked it, it looked like it was so close, but the axes were holding the middle the whole game basically. Mm -hmm. And they still have two VPs. Wow, they completely secured the north now. I didn't even notice that. I knew there was some small skirmishes going on in the north, but uh, wow. Yeah. Oh, oh, Wait a minute. That's what I was gonna on, say. Uh, Registered uh, artillery. He's got the point. But he doesn't. He doesn't have enough for it. He's no at munitions. Ah. Uh, he might actually get. No, he won't. Fortunately. No. He's probably going to drop on the spotting squad in the north, though, I guarantee you. Let's wait for it. He's, he's got five munitions away. One, Three, two, two, four, five. One. Drop it. Hit it. Hit it. Uh, oh, no, yes, he did. Yes, yes he did. Yes, he did. And he's not paying attention. No, he Goodbye, did. He got it out. He, he learned his lesson from the oh, other. What the, what the hell was that? Off a rifle? I saw that. Yeah. Was that's that the rifleman or was that the, the ground? That was a helmet. That's one hell of a helmet. I know. Holy crap. <laughs> How the mortar. mortar not he there, set up yeah. the mortar. Oh, the mortar was grabbing the VP. He's going to oh. lose the mortar now, though. He's got to. Great Calliope placement. Holy crap. That building's finally that out of the way. Oh, he lost a squad. Never need. Does anyone know what a vet free Calliope benefits from the vet? What does it do? I don't know, actually. I don't cool. remember looking that up. I can see, isn't it? Must I think be. accuracy, maybe damage too. Oh, they lost the mortar. They lost the north as well, guys. Mm. Yeah, finally the, the the Americans stop it at 84. But he lost the the Axis lost a uh, Gren squad in that. I'm pretty sure I saw the fly if he killed one. What is it at now for kills? 31 uh, kills. Oh my God. You're right. He desperately needs armor right here. Hmm. And he's getting a Panzer command. That's what he needed like 10 yeah, minutes he ago. That five minutes ago, yeah. Oh, but he's not paying attention. His grenadiers, three, two, one. Ah, oh, he's getting away. Uh, dead. It's a pity he's gonna lose the lose the munis in the in the north. That's gonna be a big hit to his uh, war machine there. He's down to 37 income now. Yeah, I'm surprised zombie hasn't gone to the south because there's actually all that stuff down. Look at that. It's free, it's yeah. Nothing mm. there. You got it's the eighty eight. He needs to repair it though, really badly. Yeah, yeah he does. Clippy's running over. Has no He's gonna sympathy knock out for the, the dead uh, people. Yeah. The Bodies just like pop out of from underneath oh, his treads. Oh, Stuka. Ooh, there it is. Wow, I missed. Ooh. And it <laughs> wow, it's in the water. That's kind of cool. Hit the the half track. That's a dead half track. No. Another <laughs> glitch shot. When he's not thinking. Well, he didn't really get to see it for very long. He probably only got one actual shot off. Yeah, that is true. Oh, the poor Grens. Oh, man, there's two Pack 38s down there. What wound up oh. killing them? Was it rifles earlier? I think I so. Notice. Rifles and nades. Oh, God. Oh, man. What oh, you got out of there? Lucky pocket. <laughs> How many really? kills is that? 35 now? 34? Yeah. 30. What's your... What's They're your time, the by the way? Uh, 34, 48, 9. Alright, we're right about. Yeah, I'm insane. Oh, gosh! Good, good preservation on the Stuka, I'll say that much. Yeah. He's taking out the north. He's gonna go for the south now in response, though. That's what he should do. Yeah, hopefully, if he's noticed. He could. Oh, Stuka. What happened? The Panzer Command is half built. Oh, God. He probably <laughs> forgot about it, and now he realizes. He probably did a, a general, you know, selection in the mini map, and then yeah. he goes, it happens to me all the time. I hate that crap. Now he's building it. With two yeah, parties. he noticed. He's going for the south, but he's just going to drop registered on it because he has 128 now. <laughs> that could he's easily kill well. it before he notices. Well, yeah, he's going but uh, north as well. Full barracks in the church. Eh, not a bad idea. He's got really <laughs> solid right. control over it. He doesn't need to buy more riflemen right now. That's true. So getting a forward barracks there could help South him. It could have helped him more earlier. Wow, he didn't drop the registered, huh? He's saving it for the north, probably. Watch this. Well, let's wait now for would it. be a good time. That's a very good time. Oh my god. There you go. This could. Oh man. Keep changing, I think. Yep. Maybe. No. Not no, he noticed. So. Oh, there goes two. Oh man, one fell way north. Yep, but there's still two guys left. That's enough to decap everything. Oh, yeah, that is. 
What I would do right now is I'd send the Stuka on quick response over there, and I'd shell that area to kill the last two guys. Mm. Well, you're not the one playing right now, Roger, so why don't you stop telling people what to do? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah. I gotta tell you, these Vet 3 Grens have been getting murdered at every yeah. turn. They, they need mean, LMGs. They should be, that yeah, they help. do need LMGs. They, they, that's what they need to compete with the bars. Yep. Oh, here comes died. Stuka. The ADA just bit it. Guys. Oh, yeah? How? Mortar. I think the mortar killed it. Oh, okay. Mm. Yup, it did. Um, it has a tank kill. That means uh, the ADA went down. Yeah. Um, have you seen the church? I would like to see a sniper in that church. Oh, that uh, would be... What the uh, hell? Like, like, hanging up there. <laughs> how, did they, how did that happen? Took probably probably yeah, took it out halfway. Now we got quite a bit of infantry over here on the on the left. No vet though, unfortunately, but it'll still do a lot of damage. Because there's no AT except there's for no, Stickies. Yeah, Stickies is all he's got. It micro that well, and it's easy kills until he gets a counter. Fogonade. Fogonade. Suppress that bars are really paid off. Now he's popping suppression. Great use there, with Zombie Rock. He's doing one for each, wow. But I mean, he must be he rolling in munitions, he is. He's got 262 munitions. Even though he hasn't had those plus 16s for most of the game, he hasn't really had to spend it on anything either. Whoa! That's huge right there. Nice Calliope barrage. And in the north, a rifle squad just went and down. And the Gwyn's did. Yeah, I heard that too. Miss Shrek dropped. Do you see the curveball shot? Do you see that on the rifles? Yep. <laughs> That's fine. Gonna do it again. Nah. Oh, he yeah, needs to kill that shot. Vet 3 Calliope now. Oh! How close is he to a Pershing, by the way? Uh, Four CPs. Four CPs. Uh, if he's got... One no, he, yeah, he has Allied War Machine, so he ha needs one more. Yeah. And field with this. How much um, fuel does the Axis player have? 236. He's Plenty to do Panzer whatever he wants. Now. Yeah, get another yeah. Panzer IV and then start putting Vet on them. This and he's in is really bad, shape. though. They're gonna reman both the packs and sticky it. Watch this. Oh, God. Well, no, one of the packs got destroyed, I think. There. Oh, he's area. got an AT gun, though. Two stickies. Goodbye, all axis armor. Oh, oh, oh Stuka. Mate, Stuka might hit in time. Yeah, that's gonna be a really tight cluster. Oh, it's the uh, allied AT gun's gonna make it. Main gun destroyed. He's got yeah, immobilized. <laughs> Wasted sticky. Sticky yeah, didn't even blow up, he just kind of glitched. <laughs> yeah. He needs to flank around the left side because he's got this land bridge locked down right now, the allied player does. Yeah. So. yeah There's the pushing. Just got him knocked. He got the pack 38 though. That was a mortar, I think. Or something. See, he has so many low health squads right now, he's in. Oz is in deep trouble. Can I beat? Oh, oh man, here it comes. And he says armor company's underpowered. Well, I, it, my, I don't think it's underpowered against tier two defensive. <laughs> but, but that's why the Axis player should have gone heavy tier four a while ago. Yeah, I agree. He lost a mortar that had like nine. I mean, what? How many? Wouldn't it be nice to have some knights cross to wipe out all this infantry? Nope. Yeah. 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 Vet, vet three knights cross. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's already got the vet. <laughs> just, just pop out. You know. Two squads, and they'd wipe out, you know, uh, uh, at least two squads of uh, bars. See, he's spending all his manpower on reinforcing these Grens that really haven't helped him at all because no. they're not upgraded or anything. So, I would definitely say Five use kills. the Grens to cap and um, use the low health Grens to cap uh, sections of the map and just constantly harass while uh, you build Knights Cross for the actual killing. And then when you take the map uh, power back, then you can uh, reinforce the squads that you don't need so much. Yeah. Whoa. Great use of the forward barracks, though. Reinforcing the AT gun and everything there. <laughs> they stole a bar. The Grants in the door. Yeah. Don't need LMGs, we got bars. They're gonna get grenaded this well if they're not careful. Or just wipe the floor with. The, uh... gonna try to get a sticky. Back up, back up your Panzer IV, there you go. Keep backing it up. Skin now imagine if this Panzer IV had a uh, had a, a gun machine on gun on top. Yeah. Yeah. Well, see here Ooh. another thing, guys. This could be a huge changing point because all these Grens are coming in. If he kills that AT gun and moves up, this could be a huge uh, surrounding of Zombie Rommel's forces, and it could kill them all. 
So it Zombie could. has to be very careful here. So does Vaza though, because that's all he's got. Yeah. yeah, that's very true. And the Calliope is probably going to readjust and fire. I think, that, I think this is going to be the side of the game. Yeah. Who will throw the grenade first, though? Well, hopefully the gren grenadiers won't throw it at all. <laughs> here comes the uh, walking Stuka. Oh my god! An 18 shot has bounced off someone. No. Yeah. Well, wow! He didn't repair the AT gun from before. It had almost zero health on the gun itself, even though he had a recruit. So yep. one walking Stuka, like 10 feet away from it, killed it. Oh, man. Oh, How you gosh. Get squad? Yeah. Oh, man. He had he had this battle until that Calliope barrage <laughs> forced all his infantry off the field, except for the he still has pioneers. A, he still has, he still has a chance. He's got another Panzer IV out now, so... Mm. I mean, there's a, yeah, there's a critical mass of tanks that when you get enough of them on the field, they just do so much damage so quickly that unless he gets some tanks and some major AT to back it up, he could be in trouble if he just keeps pumping out. Down big time, though. Holy crap. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Get the Panzer IV up and support those Pios. Don't lose them. You need the capping power, and there you go. <laughs> oh, my God. Look at the Calliope. I bet kills. he wishes he had a uh, Tiger Ace right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or not the KT, obviously. Yeah, that's why I didn't say the KT. How many munitions does the Axis player have? 174 right now, 175. Mm. Wow, not yeah. so great tank micro <laughs> there. <laughs> a grenade on the dead pioneer. Okay. Disarms him, and the gun bounces off the room. <laughs> why not? I, I, I'm gonna... Oh, man. I think Zombie's got this game, because even if uh, Ozla does take one back, v, one of the VPs back, he's still down two, and then uh, probably Zombie will call in a Pershing and cut out He's already done it, mate. Yeah, he already has. What the hell was that? Oh, no. In the Calliope north. Barrage. What, they're standing up to it? They survived, just barely. And Actually, there's looking at the Pershing. That guy has no oh, gun. Oh, but there was a nice shot from a uh, Shrek squad. There you go. This is this is actually still up in the air. He really needs mm. to keep that uh, Panzer IV. He cannot oh. get that sticky duck. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, Stuka, though. Man. A bit late. Stuka. Get his own tank. Oh, oh, that Pershing God. got hit. Bad oh, time. that Pershing is in trouble, actually. Two sticky bombs. A Wait a minute. Bombs. What kind of is that? Defensive artillery? Yes. Yes, it is. Rocket artillery. Nice. It's gonna kill everything zombie. Oh has. Everything gosh. Has to die. And look at the infantry popping in to say, uh, "My turn." I just saw a squad just went down. I just saw a squad go oh. down. And the other's tank is still alive. Damaged engine, but still alive. He could use that to push into the middle and take the uh, church. I hate to say it, but if. Uh... It was all we hadn't used all those stickies, he would have been able to get a like, war machine on. To, uh, ah, wow, version, yeah. He needs to move that Gren squad in the middle now, even though, is there an MG in that church still? Yeah, there is. Yeah. Oh, it's gosh, counter <laughs> Oh, <laughs> here it was just looking hopeful for us. <laughs> Damn that Calliope to hell. Right? Oh, yeah. I know. 51 oh, wow. kills. I think that's one of the high. I think that's got to be the highest we've ever seen on TOH. We have a Panther coming out now. Uh, <laughs> That's I think you should just things. get Knight's Cross, I really do. Yeah. Knight's Cross with Ospin, because there's no anti-tank right now. It's going to be a while before he gets another Pershing. What do you guys think? Yeah, he's actually been reinforcing his rifle, so he's got yeah. no nothing for a Pershing. Mm. Not for the next Same. minute. Same minute and a half, two minutes. No, not for a couple of minutes. Squad. It's got 37 kills. Mm. Which squad? The uh, triple vet one. One of them leaving the base, 37 oh. kills. Oh, wow. Great, that, that just proves it's great unit preservation by both mm. players. I mean, yeah. the Stuka is still alive, and it's going to shell the middle now, where the Calliope <laughs> is. Yep, direct hit. Direct hit. Grab the Pack 38 the Americans have. Ice. Yep. That's one of the great things about having a, uh, a, a an HQ set up in the church. It allows you to very easily grab weapons that are on the field like packs or MGs or mortars or whatever because a lot of the times you have to decide you know okay well I'd love to grab this and utilize it but then I have to retreat my squad all the way back and so I mean that's more than anything uh, that is one of the great features of uh, the forward yeah. HQs or a, or a, uh, a half track in this case he's been Isn't using the, the allied forward HQ cheaper than the Wehrmacht 
No, I think they're both 260, right? 280. I think, no, I think 140 for the um, for the American one. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. no. It's, it's, it's definitely it's 260. Rifleman squad, I think. Yeah. Okay. Panther. Oh no, driving right into the pack. What? He was driving oh, no, his Panzer IV with... right straight at it. Oh, uh, uh, it's hitting the infantry though. He's really lucky there. But he's gonna get it sticky really badly probably here. No. no that was Stuka's great use flying. of that rocket though. Like, holy crap. Stuka. Time. And here comes the Panther for a flank, but it's gonna get sticky. And he did. I think it already did. It's already got damage. Yeah. Engine. They might it's lose the church here. Which is really what, uh... <laughs> the Clive is flying through it. Oh man, oh, now no, the, the Panzer IV is popping in. No, no it. it's not. Oh, you thought he was gonna fire? Oh jeez, yeah, why did in. you charge the Panzer IV in there? It's gonna lose the Clive Yep, he's gonna lose it. Back it, up, back it up, back it up. Oh yeah, oh, there it is. The Panther was shooting cool unit. it. Immobilized Panzer IV. Nah, it's dead. Destroyed engine Panzer IV. Bad. Sticky bomb kills. No. 5%. He's reinforcing that life from his squad. He needs to get those two squads of Grens to that middle VP oh ASAP. God. He is really low on VPs. Yeah. This We're past the again. point of no return here. But he can't because uh. of the MG, right? He's trying to produce something yeah. else in the middle. It looks like an AT gun. Why? What is he bringing the Panther away for? He's got to shoot the MG out of that building. That he's oh, going he's going after this building. Yeah. Kill the church. Kill the church. Don't kill the church. Oh, he's Stop trying to harass beating. South too, but Zombie Rumble was one step ahead of him with a squad down there. This is really a nail biter here, guys. This is going to be yeah. really close. Yeah. Very close. Oh gosh, Flamers versus Grenadiers in the north. Uh, I just can't this... believe he hasn't had enough munitions to get one LMG squad or anything. I mean, that's his grenadiers have been almost He's useless been this game. For the death vet, the, the death defensive vet. I mean, uh, the just mm. vet period. So. <clears throat> and here he's doing a <laughs> flank with a, a rifleman style flank to try and kill this MG, Enemy but it's worthless. Come on, get to the VP. No. Get a grenade in there. We're gonna vet twos are gonna get sticky on this Panther here. No, we're not going to see when they when they. Oh man! Oh man! Ah, oh, they got away. They're Fantastic. vet three. That that would have killed them if they weren't vet three. Oh, but no, it's counter counteracting. He's the taking south. the north. Zombie Rommel's taking the north with the 38 kill and one south. tank kill squad. But the south is is falling as well. This oh, is God, ridiculous. They're switching sides. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Oh, but he's registered in the north. Registered artillery. Yeah. Yep, he All has right, enough. that's gonna get, that's gonna buy him a little time. <laughs> oh, just got it out of there. Goodbye, Vet Three Squad. Nah. No, not quite. Got out of it. But he did what he needed to do. He just needed Let's a whole. in the middle. Back. Would it take? Oh, it didn't take that full HQ. It's on fire though. What the hell? Yeah, it was on Die. fire. Die. Five percenting. You're just a church. God can't save you. <laughs> Velik can. There's no repenting here. Now this is, they're not going to be able to hold the south. He doesn't have enough for registered. Oh crap. He does have a Panther though. Well, well, yeah, Panther but Panther's... Yeah, he got one one kill. You know, every time he True. fires, like, one kill. Even if it has... Well, he's going to be able to kill those two squads. No, he's going to charm him over now. Oh god, but Sticky it's moving bomb. too slow. It's dead. No, he didn't I'd do say anything. the forward HQ is crucial in this game. Yeah, but specifically the MG in that building has prevented him from taking the middle even when he's rushed all kinds of stuff in there and killed all the allied presence, that MG is still there. Or maybe it's a sec a new one, I'm not sure, but... Uh, it's it's the same one. Because it looked like it wasn't there earlier, but he might have pulled it out to reinforce it at some point. He's yeah. gonna throw a grenade at these... Uh, oh, he suppresses him instead. Oh, man. That's excellent. It's right he's there. gonna get the cap and all three are gonna go. This is totally going Zombie Rommel's way. Mm. It's just a matter of time now. Yeah. I think this makes up for the uh, lack of luster games we've had so far, though. Definitely. Yeah. This is no. He needs to get that Stuka into action. Why isn't he doing that? And pop med packs on your freaking grenadiers. Look at the ones in the north. They're, they have no health to the man. <laughs> oh man, there's two of them there and they got a fraction. Grenade! Missed. 
I want to see him grenade that. Yeah. Yeah. Another grenadier grenade. Oh, it actually killed a couple of guys. <laughs> and there it is. Maybe two in favor. Yep. In that was uh, that was a pretty impressive game. I got to say there was some really really good unit preservation on the Allied side. He kept that Calliope the whole uh, pretty much the whole game, almost the whole game. How many did it have at the end? It was like 52 51. kills. 51. 51. That was amazing. Meanwhile, the uh, the Axis player did very good unit preservation on his half track. That's got 15 kills, two vehicle kills, and three building kills. I don't even know what the building kills. The church steeple. If you guys look at that too, there's nothing. Oh, I've seen up. that bug once or twice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But that building, the five percent bug in that building was really ridiculous. I think that really did change the the fact. If you could have killed the church and the MG inside, you could have gotten in the middle and possibly swung the game. But mm. oh well. I think the Axis player game. would have had it if he had done a little bit better micro on on those tanks at some point. Rushing the 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 tanks in there probably not a great idea. Getting to tier two would have really helped him against the infantry too. A couple of yeah. tier two. Uh, Panzer IVs. He had two at some one point, and those can shoot through infantry. Um, yeah. Not not quite as well as a Sherman. I feel like they don't do quite as good a job, or or an Oswin, for example. But they're going to hold up against fire. And I can't believe that game changing rocket barrage uh. in the north. It was it was totally gone when that when that pan, uh, Pershing came out. I think that was a yeah. big mistake by the Allies in this yeah. game was rushing that Pershing all the way up there. I mean, the Pershing has a nice long range. You can you know, shoot at one Panzer at a time. Instead, he rushed it up there, and then, you know, using the rifles to sticky was a great job, but once he had one tank immobilized, he could have just pulled back and fired at one from frontal armor. Instead, you know, he had yeah. his guy stuck there, and uh, that that was a big game changer. Made it very close at the end. Mm. Excellent unit preservation from the Allied player, though, with his rifle squad. The triple vet squad has 40 kills. Yeah, to the Axis player's credit, he did a very good job of hunting down and killing those M8s early in the game. Oh, definitely. Yeah. I mean, uh, early to mid game, it was basically all the access until that medic yeah. station came out. Yep. And the mass medic bunker spam. He lost just too much manpower near that medic bunker. That I think that's yeah. what cost them the game. Yeah, definitely. Speaking of where that medic bunker was, look at the ground near it. Yeah, the building's yeah. gone. The graveyard's destroyed. The hedge is gone. <laughs> wow. Crazy. All right. Certainly. Yeah. Well, we return to Samoa, and hopefully we can return again when it's more pleasant weather. Sunny. Yeah, exactly. Um, so, thanks guys for tuning in. We do, uh, we do, would love to hear from you. If you want to send us an email, you can reach us at talesof at gamefire.com. T-A-L-E-S-O-F at gamefire.com. You know, Rogers, you don't get those emails, do you? I gotta, I gotta set up, I gotta tell Hunter to set up a, uh, yeah, that'd be nice. An alias so that it sends to you. Uh, yeah. So we're going to get out of here. Uh, thanks, guys, for tuning in. And uh, remember, if you're feeling a little guilty, tales.gamefire.com is where you can reach us. Or tell a friend, or two, or ten. Every time you own a noob, recommend Tales of Heroes to help them out. Thanks, guys. <laughs>